everybody rambling mike here going to share with you uh, another amazing modified deck this one's called dark fairy tale tarot it's a super fun deck <clears throat> it's very cool it's put out by los cabero and uh you know these are quick review but also i have this deck available because i hand trim these decks i i modify them um so I want to show you what I've done with this deck right here. If you are interested in purchasing the deck, all that information is down below in the description area. I do wrap them up real nice. I can either mail them to you or I can mail them directly to your friend with a nice little note from you and all that. All that down below about how to contact me if you're interested in it. So here we go. I'm going to show you the dark fairy tale tarot today. It comes with the box. And it comes with the little classic white book that's in five languages. There's four or five pages for each language. And, you know, the five pages that are in here, they're, they're a good description of the cards. Uh, this deck also comes with a face card and has a nice back on this deck as well. And the back, you know, trimming can mess them up a little bit, but the back, all in all, looks nice to me. So here we go. We're going to do a quick walkthrough of the entire deck right here. First one is the Fool card. It's beautiful. I like her Fool right there. It looks to me like she has the same card in her hand right there. Now with the dark fairy tale tarot, there isn't any languages on this spread or on this deck. Uh, they have the numbers and then they'll have a symbol on the bottom of the suit. So this is the zero card. It's the fool. We have our magician. Our High Priestess. And here's our Empress. Gotta love her. I mean, this is a little bit of a dark deck. Here's our Emperor. I like him. Number four. Number five is the Hierophant. I like the Hierophant in this deck. He's awesome. Number six is our lovers. You can see them right there, huh? Sneaking away from the castle. They get a little alone time together, huh? It's beautiful. I love the chariot. You can see the swiftness of the chariot. But uh, the person that's riding it is just be like, well, okay, sirrah, sirrah. You know, totally in charge of those two wild ponies just chilling. I like it. Now, with mini decks, 8 and 11 are switched around between strength and justice. Generally, justice anymore is put with number 11 and strength with an 8, but an old way was justice as 8 and strength as 11, and that's how this deck is. This is justice as number 8. Number nine, a very cool hermit. Ten, the wheel. And eleven, strength. Twelve is our hangman. Or here we got a hanged angel. Hung by the foot though, huh? 13 is death. 14 is temperance. <clears throat> 15 is the devil. 16 is the tower. I like the tower with this deck. It's awesome. 17 is the star. 
18 is the moon. I like the moon in this deck as well. It's awesome. 19 is the sun. Beautiful, both of these two. 20 is judgment. The angel blowing the horn and somebody raising up from the dead. And 21 is our world card. That's the, that's the cover on the box right here. Just a close-up of her. The world card, 21. And then we get into our suits. And with this card, it will have the one on the top and then the little symbol for the suit on the bottom, which is definitely a wand down there. Ace of Wands. Here's our two of wands. The, the, you know, the little wall. There's the world, the two wands. It's a nice deck, very playable. Three of wands, seeing your ships. Four of wands, the harvest, the butterflies flying around. Five of wands, the tussle. You see them right there, it's nice. Totally a nice playable deck in my opinion. The victory of the six of wands. The standing up for yourself, seven of wands. Eight of wands is a little different because traditionally eight of wands doesn't have people in the card. But eight wands. Here's our nine wands. Nice representation of that old wounded warrior. And Ten of Wands, you know, all the little monster's hands coming up out of there trying to grab her, but she's letting all that burden go and heading to a whole new world up here. Ten of Wands. Uh, with this deck right here, our pages have a little Spartan's crown and the wand symbol. It's our Page of Wands. Our knight has a little horse and the wand. So our knight of wands, I like him how he's all just lit up, man. Our queen of wands with her very magic little black cat right there. And of course our king of wands, I love this guy. Looks amazing. Kind of looks like somebody. Hmm. <laughs> King of Wands. Off to the aces here. The Ace of Swords. Definitely kind of looks like some kind of lightsaber sword. It's got the crown, the sword, the angel. It's nice. Our Two of Swords. Very classical. Two of Swords. Three of Swords is very nice, in my opinion. Our Four of Swords, the healing, spending time with the divine, nicely, nicely represented here. Our Five of Wands, or Five of Swords, excuse me. Five of Swords, huh? That one's fun. The Six of Swords, classic. Our Seven of Swords, that definitely old sneaky, running around in the night. It's nice. Here's our Eight of Swords, classic representation of it as well, yet have their own little dark fairy tale twist to it. The Nine of Swords, those little sleepless nights right there. And the Ten of Swords, which definitely looks a little brutal. Most of the Ten Swords are always in the back. They're always a little more brutal when they're in the front, huh? Ten of Swords. Our little Spartan head, Page of Swords. Our little horsey head, Knight of Swords. And he has that old lit up sword, by the way. 
That's the fun with these kind of tarot decks. They all talk just a little bit different. Why is his sword the one that's lit up? Interesting. Knight of Swords. Here's our Queen of Swords. Looks like she's just about had enough. And our King of Swords. Looks like he ain't playing around either. You know, certainly looks like he's winning that argument, huh? Here we go to our cups, the Ace of Cups. The Two of Cups. And you know, the cups has the little cup on the bottom. The Three of Cups. Our Four of Cups. This is like the hand of the divine up here. It's pouring out the contents of that fourth cup onto this person who's just like, you know, exhausted. It's a nice representation of four of cups, in my opinion. It's like source trying to wake him up or something. Huh. To the old golden cup. Here's our five of cups, the river of tears. Here's our six of cups. The angels. The, the old golden chalice up there, thinking about the past, sweet thoughts of nostalgia. It's nice. The seven of cups, a lot of options, eyes wide open, all that. The eight of cups, very classical, walking away. Eclipsed moon right there too. Eclipsed sun is really what that is. The Nine of Cups. And the Ten of Cups. Beautiful stuff. Love all the butterflies, the Ten Cups lined up. The castle in the background, just loving life. Here is our Page of Cups. Paying attention to that little fish in the cup. The old moon behind them right there too. Here's our Knight of Cups. Has that big golden chalice. Gonna go take it to somebody. Here's our Queen of Cups. And here's our King of Cups. Not really paying too much attention to that cup. I love the Ace of Pentacles. The Hand of the Divine. The artwork in this deck is amazing. The Ace of Pentacles. Here's our Two of Pentacles. The classic Three of Pentacles. You know, Church. Here's our Four of Pentacles. I love it. Beautiful. And it has a little pinnacle symbol for the pinnacles. Here's our five of pinnacles, another classic, you know, interpretation, the old church window, the stained glass, or not paying attention to the stained glass or to the divine, feeling left out in the cold, all of that. Our six of pinnacles. Seven of pinnacles. Tending her garden of life, patiently waiting for the butterflies to manifest. Eight of Pentacles, hard at work. Nine of Pentacles, there she is, just lavishing in life. And Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful stuff right there. Our page of pinnacles. Here she comes, bringing in that little pinnacle that she found. Our knight of pinnacles, and this one's definitely a little uh, different. Shows him running and wolves chasing him. You know, it's like he wishes that his pony would go a little faster, huh? Interesting knight of pinnacles. Our queen of pinnacles. The queen of the world. 
And last but not least, our, our king of pinnacles. Now, as you can see, the, the artwork for this deck is outstanding. Shuffles like a dream. I pulled the sides off of this and left the top and left the bottom. It shuffles amazingly. Looks good on the front. Love the sun card for you, huh? And looks good on the back. If you want to find out information about getting your hands on one of these, go ahead and use that description area down there. If this video is running, that means that I have this deck available. It's wrapped up. It's ready to go. As soon as you send me the text and the invoice, I will send you an invoice. As soon as that's all taken care of, goes in the mail immediately. All right. Hope you're enjoying these. Namaste, my friends. Love and light. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.